ready? Yeah. Um, so today I want to show you the new, brand new shoe, the um, New Zero. Uh, we're going to check it out and I kind of want to talk through just our inspiration for it and where we've came from and where we're going. Um, but I first wanted to start to show you how bad it was. So these are actually some of our first samples we ever made um, of climbing shoes. And nobody has seen these because I don't want to show anybody. It's embarrassing. So this is like instead of the, the wall of fame, it's the wall of shame. Um, so yeah, get a load of this thing. <laughs> this is the bowler inspiration where the very first one came from. This was uh, the first shoe of the runner, which ended up turning to the all teal shoe. Um, yeah, this is really, it's really bad. I mean, everything about it, the materials, the rubber is like super slick. Um, it just wasn't, you know, wasn't the right thing. But we had to start somewhere. We had to get some ideas going and, um, you know, I almost gave up. Almost. actually the first sample that that we got back from the factory and um, I remember now because basically we try to do a really minimalist approach and we didn't have a binding here so you can see on the updated samples uh, we actually have ran that binding through here and what we found is like without a binding you you lost a lot of the tension of the shoe so you put this thing on and even though the heels tensioned really well and the toe box is tensioned, it was just kind of like flopping around. Like it kind of felt like a wet sock. And no matter how hard you cranked it down, like you couldn't get the shoe tight enough. It just felt loose and you could still even slide like your hand down in here when it was on your foot. So that was one of the, the issues that we moved from and uh, added this binding on the next sample. So what we do after we get the very first sample before we really start going crazy testing is we actually start with like architecture and design and then we move into the building process. So it's crazy, but I get paints out and I have um, like a whole kit, a painting kit. It's really simple, but I, I've probably painted these shoes like 10 different colorways. Um, and a lot of people do this on the computer, of course, but I really just want to take the time and, and do it in person where I can actually see something um, you know, like in my hands that we can take a look at, which is a little bit old school, but we still, we still value it. So these were the, some of the different colorways we had thought about for the shoe, which obviously have changed drastically. Cool, so this is the final one. Um, we're really, really happy with it. Uh, this is one that'll be going into production. Um, we did a couple things. We carried this, uh, this upper material up through the strap. So you got rid of this like seat belt looking webbing. Uh, it looks a lot more clean and a lot more simple. We added these sew lines here, so if the strap is too long and you tighten down too far, um, you can always cut that strap right there and it's not gonna fray or break. So that's kind of a, a feature that a lot, a lot of people don't know about. We changed the, um, the tensioning, the piping here, to an all gray, so we're getting pretty close to like that classic color black look that we're, we're known for. We did a matte, black, or a matte gray buckle here and then match the webbing pretty close to that buckle as well. We did the softer version of the shoe, so it's not, um, it's not stiff at all. You can see here, it's like, it's crazy. We actually butted up the rubber, and this is really hard to do in production. So a lot of brands, they'll lap it like this or lap it like this. We actually just butted it up around the entire toe box. Um, and this is a thinner uh, millimeter rubber, of course. Uh, these slits are also, uh, it helps your knuckles breathe a little bit. And if you get this shoe and you think this is a mistake or a break and you want to return them, it's not. I promise. Uh, we got the tension right on the heel as well. Uh, the underneath Velcro, we matched the color, which is cool. And then we brought it uh, back towards your heel as well. So if you want to crank the, um, the strap down a little bit more at an angle, you can do that as well. So the, the new zero for us is, well, it's kind of like a climbing project. It's the hardest thing you've ever done, but once you do it, it's actually the beginning. 